The brief was obviously we still have a chance. It's a positive look at the future. What can we do to make the future better and to show it in a mural? Which is it's a complicated story, and um, and I started to think about it with my granddaughter who's ten, and I was worried about her future. And I wanted to show a picture of what it could be for her in a positive sense. The initial concept was just to have a young girl or a young person in the middle of the screen. And behind are the bad things and in front in the future are the good things. Um, and that was the simple principle. I went on um, to then draw in more detail. Let's go to the, the bad side first. So I just start with scribbles and sketches. And the, the things that we need to turn away from, aeroplanes, oil rigs, traffic. I'm making notes, and then I'm starting to, um, one thing I do is I collect photographs. So photographs of all the things that are, well, look, the aeroplanes are the wrong way around. <laughs> Um, and then I start drawing, and literally I'm drawing clouds over the top. Um, what have I got there? I've got a boat. It, um, so this, I've got a couple of boats in this story because there's, there's cargo ships going around the world, and I've got um, cruise ships, which as we saw in that last visualization, can be very dirty. Sorry, excuse me. Um, oil rigs. The oil's coming out of the ground. It's a, oil gets burnt as petrol and diesel. That's creating carbon. That's bad. We need to find better ways. When we, we have got the technology to do things better. Um, so I'm just literally drawing over the top of everything, piecing it together, changing it around, and then ending up with the world, including gas boilers in there and traffic, burgers because it's meat and it's mass produced meat, um, pollution in the rivers and the seas, you can see it all there. But I want to look at the positive side, so, um, so the po positive side, for example, travel, I was breaking it down into bits. Travel, we can walk, we can cycle, that kind of stuff. we can use cars if they're, if they're not diesel or petrol, so at the moment we've got the choice of electric. I think I'm choosing um, photographs for reference and drawing over the top, so a whole load of photographs there. Um, all, and then I'm really just using them as a guide to then draw over the top. So draw in rough to start with, draw in a bit more detail, get rid of the photographs, and I end up with better, better ways of travelling. I've been to other countries where all the scooters are electric. Silent scooters whizzing around the town are lovely. It's a really nice thing to see. Um, and then putting in the old buildings. So at, at one time I was looking at, didn't end up in the finished one, was the, um, the weir on the River X. Because I think there's an opportunity there to make electricity from running water. Um, the um, St. Sidwell's Point is a carbon free, carbon neutral building, which is a fantastic thing. Um, then also looking at my, my granddaughter, I'm putting in a picture, tracing around her, tracing it, making it work, um, and then build, building up the image. So right here. First of all, scribbles and notes, and then birds, extra cathedrals in there. And what, what I wanted to do was put in things that are talking points as well. I mean, the problems we have with the earth now are all what we've done in the last hundred years. When extra cathedral was built, the world was lovely, there was no problems. So we can live the world now. Um, so then I'm piecing it together again, that's uh, more, more sketching and drawing. Finally, I, I've got three sections, then I've got a positive future, I've got my granddaughter, and I've got the, the background. And I'm making the background dark and putting it out of the way, bringing in the sunshine.
bringing in the green and the grass, the green travel, looking to the future. And that's the finished mural. What I've got the next challenge though, it was quite easy drawing it on here, because only this could I draw it eight metres wide. <laughs> so, uh, one of the problems, one of the things I do, just to just out of interest, is I have um, one metre size sheets of cardboard. So I've laid them over the top here and divided the image up into smaller pieces. And then I end up with um, this is the head. The head's going to be that big. Um, and <laughs> that's the shoulder. <laughs> that's the hand. And what else I've done here is um, because these are going to be cut out stencils. I will just use the stencils as guides and then paint over the stencils. The, the black marks are going to be holes. Well, I want a black line going all the way around her face, but I can't do that on the stencil because otherwise my paper would fall apart. So it's broken up into bits. So you can see there I've got lots of this stencils ready to go. Um, we, we were planning on doing this mural now, but um, because of this technical issues with the wall, and we're heading into winter with more rain and even frost, it's not a good time to paint walls, so we're going to put it off till next spring. Um, that's, that's it really. Um, the background, I'll just point out, I'm going to use a pattern of, um, of meadows, because we need to um, leave things growing as much as possible. Try to improve a hand because my hand wasn't very good. So. <laughs> Swap that over at the last minute. I think that's that's the story of the mural. Absolutely fascinating. Thank you Thank very, you. very much I for hope, sharing that with us. I, I hope you enjoyed it. When, when we come to doing it, I, I've put it out on social media and you can come and visit. It'll probably take me a couple of weeks. Yes. And, I'll, um, I'll send you all messages. And yes. Are we allowed to ask a couple of questions? Yes, do. Why the pyramids in the back side? I asked. <laughs> <laughs> the brief came out of COP27, oh, okay. which was in Egypt. And one of the stories in the book of stories, of essays that uh, we were talking about earlier, is about the Nile and the pollution in the Nile. And the guy trying to fish for fish, and there's less and less fish each year because there's more and more pollution. Um, and the way it. Um, it fl uh, the, uh, so the, oh, it's, on, it's on the other side. Sorry. Yeah. So, the, so it's it's like the pyramids are stuck in the um, in the pollution there, yeah. and we need to look after them. It's also I, I like the, I've got the, the pyramids and the Exeter Cathedral as a reference to the past. You know, we've lived on this planet for millions of years quite well. You know, and looked after the planet. We just need to look, keep looking after it. Thank you.